Hello friends, hope you're doing well and in today's video we're going to see what's the difference between Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects and which one should you use to edit your videos. Premiere Pro and After Effects are products of same company Adobe but they are designed for different purposes. Adobe Premiere Pro is a video editing software and its key functionality is to edit multiple video clips together which are raw footage directly out of the cameras. On the other hand Adobe After Effects is used to create visual effects like this or create logo animations like this or introduce some 3D visual elements in your footage like this. That's a very basic high level explanation about these softwares but there are certain parameters based on which you can decide which among these two softwares is needed for your work. So let's see that. First one is Timeline. Premiere Pro has a bigger timeline which makes editing multiple video clips easier. Also you can have several clips in the same tracks which is why they are called as non-linear editing softwares. Whereas in Adobe After Effects, it won't allow you to have multiple video clips on the same track. Instead, you have to create new tracks for each video. And you can combine all these tracks to form a new composition. This is why they are called as compositing softwares. You can relate it to Photoshop where you have layers of photo, but in After Effects, you will have layers of videos. For these reasons, the timeline in After Effects is not as easy as that of Premiere Pro and not suitable for editing large number of video clips unless you wanted to do some compositing for visual effects. The second in our list is audio mixing and editing. When it comes to audio editing or enhancements, Premiere Pro has an upper hand with a dedicated audio mixing panel with which you can enhance dialogue, music, SFX and ambient songs. Whereas in After Effects, you can only increase or decrease the volume and can't do anything more. Number 3 is Camera Tracking. This is a powerful feature where After Effects stands ahead of Premiere Pro. With its built-in 2D and 3D tracking, After Effects lets you add titles and objects to your 2D footage then manipulate their movement in such a way that they look totally organic to the scene. Premiere Pro, on the other hand, has no powerful camera tracking functionality. Instead, you can mask simple movement of faces or objects, not anything more than that. So talking about masking, After Effects comes with a boom when compared to Premiere Pro. If you're not sure what masking is, it's a process where you grab or rotoscope a section of your frame and select either to include or exclude everything instead of that section. This masking feature is available in both Premiere Pro and After Effects, but in case of complex masking, After Effects is the way to go as it has inbuilt masking tools like Roto Brush and Track Mask Effect, which will give you a perfect output. The next one is various effects and 3D capabilities. After Effects not only has 3D tracking, but it also has features to create 3D elements right from scratch and render it to your video. It has 3D cameras with which you can create stunning 3D visual effects. Premiere Pro lacks a lot in this field and has only basic 3D simulation feature. Now let's talk about multicam feature. In case you need to do a multicam project like a live wedding shoot or a concert where you have to see different sources of same video footage from different angles simultaneously and choose the best one to broadcast, then Premiere Pro has a built-in feature to handle this which is not available in After Effects. So the last parameter that we're going to see is the scripts or expressions. The After Effects has capability to write scripts and expressions which will create motion graphics or effects and this comes handy once you get comfortable with this software. For example, if I have to create a wiggle effect for this text, I can write a simple expressions like this and that will do the motion graphics. This is very easy because of the small script, which is not possible with Premiere Pro. So having seen all these parameters, if your need is to edit large amount of video clips and organize them together, then you can start with Premiere Pro. And if you wanted to add visual effects and motion graphics to your videos, then you can switch to 
Adobe After Effects and I would suggest use both these softwares because they are powerful in their own ways and if combined together the output is stunning and soon I'll be making videos on how these two softwares can talk to each other or other ways dynamically linked together which would make your workflow easier when using both these softwares for your video projects so make sure you subscribe to our channel and I will meet you again with another good content until then see you bye